Saints fans, listen, I know you're bummed about the Drew Brees news, but we got some good news for you guys too. So Saints QB or backup QB, possibly going to be the starter for next year. Who knows? Um, Taysom Hill, he's restructuring his contract. So bear with me here because the news can kind of be a little bit confusing if you don't listen to everything. But the Saints, in order to save money, have offered him a four-year, $140 million contract. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's a lot of money. How are they saving money? Well, bear with me, okay? All years avoidable, okay? So he's not actually making four years, $140 million. All years are avoidable. So if they want to, like, after this year, be like, hey, you know, we're going to sign you to, like, um, we're going to sign you instead of four years, $140 million, maybe, like, four years, like, I don't know, $50 million, for example, then that's what they can do. So all these years are avoidable. Basically, now I know what you're asking again. Well, what is he really like playing for if all these years are avoidable if he's not making that money? Well, let me tell you. So, Jason Hill's contract this year, it includes a $9.686 million signing bonus, a $1.439 million guaranteed roster bonus, and a $1.034 million guaranteed base salary. Um, and he's got um, he's got incentives in there too. So, with that being said, he's making about He's probably playing this year, this year alone, probably getting like 11 million. I, I want to say make maybe 11 million, close to $12 million, which is not a bad contract. So just to clarify, he's not making four years, 140 million. He just, they just put that contract down so they can save money. And I know that sounds complicated, but basically with this con with uh, this right here, they are saving, um, they are saving about seven and a half million dollars, I believe, Nate. Close to eight million dollars. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, with, um, which I think is absolutely great. You know, what, let me start this first. And before I start, I just want to say this was written by uh, Steve Peliquin. Steve Peliquin is a ESPN fourteen twenty radio announce, uh, radio uh, reporter or writer, whatever you want to call it. So let me start with, off with this first, okay? I think I think this is a good idea by the Saints. I personally think this is a good idea by the Saints. Twelve million. Here's what I'm saying. I don't think it's a lot. I think it's a lot only for the reason that you don't know exactly who's going to be that starting quarterback next season. You know, a lot of people, a lot of Saints fans want it to be Taysom Hill. Not a lot of Saints fans want Jameis Winston as a starting quarterback. I know that. Okay. But I believe it's a good idea because this one year contract is going to see if Taysom Hill is really this guy. Because to be honest with you, he had a good, he had a decent, he had a decent like uh, kind of stretch when he was filling in for Drew Brees. But we didn't see, and I don't think we've seen enough out of Taysom Hill as a quarterback to know if he can really become the next starter for the uh, New Orleans Saints. I just don't think we've seen enough. He had a very good, he had a very good start, like uh, a very good streak of games with the New Orleans Saints. But guess who also, had, guess who else also had a good streak? Teddy Bridgewater a year before. Teddy Bridgewater had a nice little five and zero streak with the Saints, and then ended up going to the Panthers, and he had a losing season. So. That little streak, it doesn't mean anything, you know. Now the difference is Taysom Hill is going to be staying in New Orleans. He still got Michael Thomas. He still has Alvin Kamara. He still got a lot of weapons to choose from. But the thing is, we just haven't. I just, me personally, I haven't seen enough in Taysom Hill to know to be like, yeah, that's going to be the new starting quarterback for the Saints. With this one year contract, he's going to have to prove that he will be the long term starter for the New Orleans Saints. It's as simple as that. He's got a one year, twelve million dollar contract, which I think is which I think is a good contract for him. Again, I think it's a little bit overpaid considering the fact that we just don't know. We just, I just haven't seen enough. With that being said, I wish Taysom Hill the best of luck. I really do. He's obviously competing with Jameis Winston, so there's going to be a quarterback battle there to see who gets the number one spot for, spot for the New Orleans Saints. But not only does he have to beat Jameis Winston, Nate, he also has to prove that he is the future quarterback of the New Orleans Saints, like everybody wants him to be. Because we vote, because mostly we've seen him as a utility player. We've seen him as a guy who can catch passes, who can block who can maybe make a good, nice little 50 yard throw, maybe like once a, once a game. That's what we've been seeing out of, that's what we've been seeing out of Taysom Hill, basically. Well, not even once a game, he makes those like 50 yard throws like once like a year. So with that being said, I wish him the best of luck. I really do. You know, I hope that someday he proves that he can be the future starter and the future long-term starter for New Orleans Saints and he gets a big contract. I really hope that for him because I like Taysom Hill as a quarterback. I really do. So with that being said, I wish him the best of luck, and I wish New Orleans Saints the best of luck. Yeah, I'll pick off from there. You know, best of luck to Taysom Hill in New Orleans. Um, yeah, man, it's it's gonna be a quarterback battle right now because you know we obviously talked about. And we all know that Drew Brees retired, so now not obviously the biggest question is who's gonna take over as quarterback, Taysom Hill, or 
Jameis Winston. But what you also got to remember, Taysom Hill doesn't just play quarterback. He's a utility player. He can play any position on offense. But so if so if Jameis Winston does become the, the starting quarterback, Taysom Hill could be a running back. He could be a wide receiver. He can do both of those. That's the, that's the best part about being a utility player. You don't just play one position. You can do multiple positions, which is actually a really nice trait to have, you know, as an athlete. You don't really see that in a lot of athletes, especially in this day and age. But, yeah, man, I mean, honestly, if Jameis Winston does become the quarterback, obviously he's going to have to prove himself because his, his stint in Tampa Bay obviously wasn't the best. You know, he's, he was most known for his 30-for-30 30 30 season, 30 TDs, 30 interceptions, I mean. Oh man, they even made a show about that. I I still have to watch that. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, like I said, if Jason, uh, uh, Jameis Winston does take over as QB, obviously Jason Hill can play other positions, not just QB. And if, and if something happens, you know, you know, something happens, to Jameis Winston, which knock on board that doesn't happen, Jason Hill can take over as quarterback. But I mean, honestly, if it, if he doesn't take over his QB, it wouldn't be that big of an issue given, like I said, he's a utility player. He can play any other position that he's and that he's played for them. But um with that being said, um I if I don't know if you want to report on this, but if they do decide who the who their starting starting quarterback's gonna be moving forward, we will report that to you. But with that being said, I wish both players the best of luck moving forward and I wish the New Orleans Saints the